Stacy Burke here. And I'm wearing one of my old tank tops from the girls next door when I used to be on it. Okay, I just want to give you an update. Uh, last week I was ranting on Snapchat. And whenever I get down in the dumps, like we all do, we all get depressed. I'm one of those people that my demons have no filter. When I'm sad... I reach out to social media. I know it's probably not the wisest thing to do, but it's what I do. In fact, it's, I don't want to say it's good or bad, or I don't know. It's probably bad, but it's a lot better than what I used to do, which I used to try to reach out to our friends. And when I say our friends, I mean my husband and our friends. And I don't want to pull them into it. My husband still kind of does that, but that's his thing. I, whenever I'm having either marital problems or just problems in general, I don't want to bring the people that I'm close to around, that I live with, that I see all the time, or his friends involved in it. Because I just don't want to dish out dirty laundry because of anything that's embarrassing to him or like later on, like, just think about it. If you have friends that are married and they have problems all the time, yes, you're there for them, but yet you're friends with both of them and it puts you in an uncomfortable position. And plus, everyone has problems and you know what? Maybe you want to vent about your problems. You don't want to hear about their problems. So I try to not do that. However, I'm still bad with social media. I will tweet it and yes, I will delete it later because I don't want it I don't want that ghost hovering around me. It's just nice to get that aggravation and that um, just venting, just venting steam, letting off steam. And I'm not trying to make it not that it's not important or important or whatever, because at the time it's very important. And it could be something very important down the line, or it could be just venting. Let me just tell you a little bit with me. It's like, and I'm because I don't want to throw him under the bus, whatever demons he's got, blah blah blah. Just with me, there's a lot of anger with me from the past, some from what I react with my husband, like things that's going on with me and my husband. Mainly, it's that, but then also, it's just normal life stuff that I got going on. I'm still learning how to cope with this. Granted, the next day when the sun comes out and I go for a jog and I clear my thoughts, everything comes into place, what I need to do. My problem is the implementation, implementing what I need to do. Because in general, we all know what to do and what not to do. Common sense. We all know the do, the rights and the wrongs, the do's and the don'ts. But when emotion comes into play, or when you feel in dire straits, or when you don't know, when you're lost, it all goes out the window. And that's been going on with me. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it, but I'm trying. But I do want to say thank you for the love and support. I haven't got much negativity at all. Mainly when, mainly when I put it out there, you guys have been amazing, and I want to say thank you. Now, sometimes when I put it out there, most of you, like I say, great. Clyde, most of you been really great, and everyone's pretty much been great on, on for me. Now, lots of times, Roy's not really on social media, so he doesn't know if I vent. However, there's a few infiltrators that likes to tell Roy whenever I vent. And he gets up, because he doesn't know how this thing works. He doesn't have Snapchat. He, all he hears is like, I heard you went off, and, and it just doesn't make things any, not doesn't make things better. But I understand. I wouldn't probably like it if he did it as well, so I get it. So I'm going to try to curb it. But at the same time, 
I need an outlet. I need to vent. I need to let off steam. Or I need something to let it out. And right now, Snapchat seems to be the best way because it's I don't have to worry about deleting. It deletes itself. I know there's a way you can save it. If you really want to save my rants, I guess go ahead. Doesn't matter. But it's not really out there, out there. Like it's not like on my Facebook or anything like that. With Twitter, I could always delete it. Um, but and I think Twitter, you kind of get it. I'll still probably tweet. But Twitter, that's what it's for. So uh, I try not to give too much information. And it's not because I'm not an open book. I am. I would love to give you all the information because there's a lot of stuff going on that I would love to vent. And I think you guys would like to not only hear because, you know, it's juicy and all that kind of stuff. But it's also kind of like marriage boot camp in a way. I feel like what I'm going through would probably help other people if I talk about it. But I also have to remember there's another person involved. And he probably wouldn't like me to talk about it. So until I figure out a way to talk about it without really exposing him and the things that are going on, I'll do it. I just got to figure out that way to do it. Because I really do need to vent. And... And yes, have I been to, what do you call it, I don't know, psychiatrist, a therapist? Yeah, yeah, you know, but, um, you know, he goes for so long and then he gets done with it. I should probably still go, but who knows, maybe I will. But in the meantime, you guys are my therapist. <laughs> anyway, I, anyway, but you know what? All in all, I do have a blessed life. You know, you know, I'm not rich or anything like that, but I do live on the beach. I have amazing animals. I have a great apartment. I have all the necessities you need. Um, and I really do love my life. It's just I just don't handle things well. <laughs> I don't handle hurt well. I don't handle verbal, I don't want to say verbal abuse, but verbal stuff. I just don't handle, and and just outside is, and I don't want to just blame all my husband, Roy. There are some other people out there that, I don't know. I'm just, you know, just I just don't handle things well. And I'm trying to learn, but I think I'm getting worse. I think I'm getting worse because I'm getting meaner and meaner. Or maybe just think, I'm just getting over it. I'm getting to where I'm just, I can't, I don't know. I don't know. But thank you for your love and support. And I'll probably still continue to vent. And Snapchat will probably be the best way. <sighs> and then Twitter, of course. And... YouTube in this format, after the fact. But someone made a comment that wanted an update. So I'm doing everything is fine. You know, so I just want to give an update. There's other things I want to talk about. Um, but I am going to make a separate video, so I'll probably be wearing the same outfit. Because I don't want to, you know, it's like if you're into the update of what's going on, this is the update. Um, a lot of things are happening. I'm going to talk about, stay tuned for the video, I'm going to talk about um, my birthday month, which is May, and what happened last year that I didn't really divulge too much information last year that that I'm hoping this year is going to be better. Um, about uh, I got tickets to the RuPaul Drag Race, but I can't wait. It's the, it's the Drag Con convention. Hopefully Sarah Rush and I are going to get together. We've been friends on Twitter. We're going to get together. I'm going to talk about that, a video about that. All those girls, hopefully Shannon Rose and Brie Ashley and Kristen Kay and I don't know Trisha, but I think Trisha's mom showed interest. I don't know. I'm really hoping all those girls kind of get together at least for a few hours. It'd be awesome just to, because I think I really need some girl time, you know, 
without the girls that live here that are friends with my husband and stuff that's just too close and too politically into our problems you know I want someone outside of it refreshing <laughs> you know just some just it would just be nice so that's going on in May and I think we're going to punk rock bowling in May for my birthday birthday weekend was Memorial Day weekend uh, I think that's what's happening my birthday weekend uh, punk rock bowling and I need to talk to you about fetish con a lot of things are happening um, as you know I'm kind of involved with FetishCon, the convention. Basically, all I do is own the domain. That's all I do. I don't really organize it. I don't have any pool. I don't have any, like, pool as in mean, like, pool, pool. I don't have any, um, you know, I can't get anyone in. I don't have anything authoritative. All I, all I, all I have is I own the domain and I'm the spokesmodel for FetishCon, but there's a lot of stuff going on with FetishCon this year, like the FetishCon Awards, that's really excited. So I got to do a video for that. So stay tuned for that. Um, so, yeah. So I have a lot of videos to do that's on my plate. Roy right now, he's away. He He's away for work. So... In a way, I'm kind of enjoying my time alone in the house. Just got home from work. He's only he's only gone for a couple days. This is Thursday. I'm filming this um, February. Oh, no, it's Wednesday, February 3rd. I'm filming this February 3rd. So he's gone. He's coming back Friday night. So, you know, I got a little time. So after work, I'm going to film some videos. I'm going to take advantage of that. And then I need to... The house is dirty again <laughs> you know how it works clean it dirty again so I gotta do that um, but I just want to give you an update everything's okay everything's fine yes I get really depressed don't get me wrong when I'm depressed I am super depressed because sometimes I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels I'm stifling myself I'm doing a disservice to the world but you know what on my Stacy Burke um, a Facebook oh my god thank you thank you Joel Marceau and Scott and you guys really and 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 Riff uh, Rufus uh, oh my god you you really brought my spirits up because I was really depressed and I was thinking and I basically posted what am I doing in this world I'm a disservice to people because when I get depressed and sad I get really bitchy and mean and I'm just not a good person to be around and I just spread negativity in the world and I was just thinking what am I doing in this world like I'm doing a disservice and they they wrote this whole few paragraphs on how much I mean to them and everything and like and this is like wow 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 you guys are amazing like it really made me cry I'm trying not to cry right now because a lot of times on Facebook people might post stuff like that but I don't see it Facebook I don't really I'm sorry if you post anything to me I'm, I don't see it Twitter I see I, I see a, a lot on YouTube comments but not as much Twitter I usually see unless it's just a feed I don't really see feeds because people feed and then sometimes I log in and and it's gone so I don't it's hard to keep up I don't get notifications from Facebook so I have to log on so unless you post to my page I don't see it and so that's why I saw this because I posted something and they commented and wow Wow, it made me feel better. It made me feel like, okay, I'm doing something. It's not like, oh, like, oh, tell me how great I am. It's not that. It's just that sometimes I just want to know that I'm doing something. I want to do something positive in the world. I don't want to leave this world without contributing something good, you know? And I know, you know, I give to the homeless. I, I, I care for my animals and I do care for my husband even though we have little fights and stuff and I do love you guys but I just I guess I feel like I need to do more and I want to do more 
and when I'm feeling, when other people are telling me I'm bad or I'm doing this wrong or I'm doing that wrong, and I just, I, I collapse like a, deck, like a, like a house of cards, and I get really sad, and I'm thinking, God, you know, but all in all, it's good. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. So this video is going on past 15 minutes. So I just wanted to give you a brief, <laughs> kind of brief update on everything. And it could change. By the time this goes up on YouTube, I could be depressed again. Just, I'm sorry. Be patient with me. I'm going through a little crisis. I don't know if it's a midlife crisis. I don't know. I'm just going to figure it out. I'm just going to try to figure it out. And I'm trying to stay positive. And I really can't wait for girl time. I need girl time. I need girl time, you know. So I'm really craving that because, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you guys. And until next time. Have a groovy day, all my briquettes and all my stace cadets.